Alright, hey everyone, it is PC Strap here once again with another video, and today I'm going to be explaining seven easy ways to get rare on Animal Jam. Now, I know multiple people have done this video, and I am sorry, I wish to have given credit to them, however, so many people have done this idea that unfortunately I can't. However, I do hope that this video is actually informational for you guys, and I know a lot of you guys ask me a lot, how do you get so rare, so I hope this video actually helps you and you can actually use these tips and tricks to hopefully get a few decent rares. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Easily the number one way to get rare on this game is to play adventures. The Forgotten Desert easily gives you plenty of spikes and plenty of different opportunities to get rare. You can win tons of little rares in there. Honestly, when I play, I typically get at least one either rare item Monday, I've gotten plenty of betas, and I've gotten plenty of spikes. This is honestly an easy way to get it. Now, yes, you have to have an eagle or an owl or some kind of flying animal. However, if you actually sit, stay in this adventure and keep playing it, I promise you at some point you'll get some kind of rare items. And if you keep all the items you actually get from that adventure, you can trade up and actually get rare. So I do suggest do go play the Forgotten Desert because you will get tons of rares. So yeah. Now I know a lot of you guys will be like, oh I can't draw, blah blah blah. But honestly, masterpieces are a really easy way to get rare. Now yes, you do need to spend diamonds in order to do it. However, if you put in a lot of time and effort into your paintings and try to make it as original and amazing as you possibly can, typically people can get really good items for their drawings and can actually get quite a bit and get pretty rare off of just simply drawing a picture. Now, I know a lot of you guys can't do this. I personally can't. I cannot work with the AJ Studio. However, those of you who can, I really should just do this because you can get really rare. And on top of that, you can make several copies and sell them all. It's pretty smart. Now, I know this is a little cliche, but honestly, it's the, one of the big ways to get rare is to just trade. Now, everyone, they're always like, oh, I trade all the time. But honestly, if you just keep trading, I promise you, you will get there. Like honestly, if you look at everyone else, how do you expect they got there? A majority of people do go and trade all day long and then you slowly get rare. It's just slowly going up the pyramid, honestly. Okay, now I know we don't always know when something will get rare. However, how many times has it been that really rare items come out in Epic Wonders that no one really notices or buys and they leave around the day afterwards? Now, this can be a little tedious to constantly going into Epic Wonders to buy the items. However, if you do check daily the Epic Wonders and different shops if any new items have arrived, if you buy them right away, you never know if they will get rare. Now, of course, this is kind of a risky kind of thing. No one actually knows if the item will get rare or not. However, it happens quite a bit that someone will get really rare just by buying Epic Wonders items. Monday Rares now I know Monday Rares honestly sometimes can be very odd and strange because not many people like them. However, if you do actually get a hold of some of these Monday Rares and then wait a few months, those items can actually get decently rare and you can still get quite a bit from them. You can also just trade a bunch of them for something slightly rare and there you go. And honestly, all you do is spend gems on rares. like. You get gems so easily. Just play a few games and boom, you can afford one. Honestly, this is a e really, really easy way to get rare. Now, back to the point of trading. You need to slowly trade up. Now, I see a lot of people who will have decent or very low rares on their trade and they will be asking for headdresses. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't really have patience. I personally don't. Um, but you need to slowly go up. So instead of instantly going for that headdress you want, you need to maybe go for a short wristband and then slowly a long wristband and then a short collar. And you just need to slowly work up and get the smaller items so that you can trade up for bigger items. Because honestly, you won't get a headdress out of a few fox hats. But you might get a short collar. Who knows? And seventh is obviously you just need a lot of patience to do any of these. So honestly, as long as you're a very patient person, you can get rare. Now I know a lot of you guys don't have patience. Like I said, I don't. 
I cannot sit in the adventures forever. However, at one point I did, and I must say, that has helped me a lot to get rare. So honestly, just be very patient, and eventually you'll get there.